What was that? What's up guys, it's Rono Gaming here with another video on morphology. This one is, as always, going over the morphology of enemies. She's not a girl you want to bring home to mom, but if you're into 2,000 pound chicks who will literally rip you apart at a moment's notice, probably like most of the people's girlfriends that's watching this, then boy do I have a perfect choice for you. So without further ado, let's jump into the morphology of this tall, scaly behemoth that the only riding you would be doing is into battle, the Berserker. The Berserker is deployed during times when extreme defense is needed. More of an animal than a sentient creature, she is directed by smell and sound rather than sight. The Berserker plagues Delta Squad many times and has been set upon civilians, killing hundreds in the process. Small arms fire does little to nothing to stop her and will only increase her rage further. Any movement around her will send her into a blind charge. Much like me with my women, if you stay standing in place and not heed the charge, you will be completely torn apart, triggering an instant game over. For a Berserker to be released, you will have to be making quite a bit of noise in terms of firefights. The drones who hold her back have been known to be killed also in the process of releasing her, so you know she means business. Your typical bombshell locust woman is going to stand about 10 feet tall and have thick scaly skin that can stop bullets entirely. She also has a temper matched only by a honey badger mixed with an M1 Abrams tank. Due to her size and mass, she can run through entire walls with ease as if they weren't even there. Her eyes have been rendered useless, but her sense of smell and hearing have been heightened to replace these detriments. Berserkers are only ever vulnerable once their outer armor is heated to a certain temperature. This is done by Delta Squad when using the Hammer of Dawn or just a Scorcher flamethrower. The only other way to really kill them is to legitimately crash a train on them or use a tank. The power of a Berserker is unmatched by any other Locust, uh, nothing even really comes close to her. And considering she can pull any part of your body off, uh, legs, arms, head, it really doesn't matter. There's so much power, in fact, that they don't even have to use their limbs to pull yours off. Simply by running into a person causes them to immediately explode, armor or not. Berserkers are going to be the linemen of the Locust. Or, if you really stop and think about it, they're the entire line. Big, powerful, and not too smart, there seems to be a trend with larger Locusts being dumber. She stalks and hunts off an of instinct rather than knowledge of the actual enemy. Male drones have to actually chain up berserkers because it appears as though she will kill them just as quickly as she would a human. Due to this animal-like intelligence, Delta Squad is able to lead berserkers to open areas to take them out with the Hammer of Dawn or a flamethrower. She won't notice she's being led really anywhere until it's too late and either it be to rage or blind ignorance, time and time again she can be tricked and pulled in the right direction. Kilo Squad actually demonstrated this when there was a berserker that got released into Lima High School where she took out hundreds of waiting to be evacuated which you know kinda sucks actually. Eventually though a car alarm attracted her attention and she ran into the car destroying it and blowing it up. This ended up damaging her outer protective layer and it burned her a little bit. Upon seeing this, Kilo Squad began landing shots that damaged her, and they eventually got her to run into more cars, which would explode, and subsequently took down the creature, although a lot of innocent people, civilians, and soldiers got killed in the crossfire. The strength of a Berserker is unmatched by any Locust creature barring the Lambent Berserker. These gals can rip apart a fully armored man in seconds like you were bits of string and gum. When Delta Squad first encounters a Berserker after meeting up with Baird and Lieutenant Kim got stabbed by Rom, one of the COG soldiers there basically begins to panic after hearing the creature is in the vicinity. Ironically, this panic run became his downfall. After turning a corner to haul ass out of the area, he turns a corner and a wall is immediately destroyed by the Berserker. 
It grabs him, pulling his legs off and slamming him into the ground. We can only see the shadow of what's happening, but talk about a whole new level of jumping somebody's bones. The Berserker slams him down one final time as you can hear her yell, before she tears off the soldier's head and throws it against the wall. Upon inspecting what's left of the soldier, he lies in absolute pieces on the ground. The disgust, as shown by Dom, is palpable after witnessing the brutal strength of this creature. Her strength is also seen when she uses the chains to throw the male drones against the pillar after catching a whiff of human presence. And I mean, you can clearly see she's going to completely run through stone walls and metal doors, so she's pretty stout. Moral of the story is, looking is free, touching is going to cost you. The attack profile used by Berserkers is pretty standard, but effective. It's what I would do, honestly, if I was a legitimate living and breathing tank. She will sniff the air for human scent and listen. Any footsteps you make will let her know of your location. She will then blindly run at your direction. The best defense is a last second dive out of the way, as if you dive too early, she can correct and basically hit you when you get up from your dive. If a cog soldier isn't careful, this charge will be the last thing he or she ever sees, as the next thing will be the front of your face exploding out of the back of your armored head. You can typically tell she's about to charge, as her movements will become jerky as she swings around and looks in your direction. She will then emit a higher pitched scream, which honestly is horrifying. Bullets do no damage, as previously mentioned, so shooting her will lure her in the direction you want, but it won't do anything more than just make you feel better about yourself. When she gets done charging at you, upon hitting anything, it will take her a moment to correct her heading and relocate the soldiers she was attempting to attack. This will give you time to counterattack, but you must be quick. Standing and attacking with anything short of something that will burn her will cause her to actually right herself more quickly and she will begin charging once more to make your ass grass. Berserkers are released alone. Even the Locusts don't want to be around in the same building as them. Maybe Berserkers are really just misunderstood and they just want to be friends with the Cog, much like a child with a bunny. Until they squeeze you a little too hard or get a little too overzealous and you explode. At any rate, the good news is, you only have to face off against one of these at a time. Considering Berserkers don't do well with ground troops in the area of their own kind, I imagine releasing two Berserkers in the same area would be like setting up a cockfight that would demolish an entire city block. Ah, women. Can't live with them, can't bring them down with standard lancers. At least that's what the saying on Sarah has been the uh, last 14 years, I believe. A berserker death is brutal. As we can see, this cowardice is met with extremely bad luck and timing. But you as Marcus Phoenix, or Dominic Santiago, can find out as well, getting in front of one of these things does not bode well for you either. There is no plot protection for you here. Humanity has always been smart. Well, smart enough to create weapons in the sky that can shoot down focused fire like the might of Zeus. These come in handy when dealing with berserkers, as if you're lucky enough, you will time it just right and have yourself a nice berserker barbecue. Still kind of imagine that they probably smell like crap though. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe and push that bell so you know whenever I upload. Also, I want to give a shout out to my 13 subscribers. I mean, I've been doing this for two weeks and I've already got 13 people. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Also, how do you guys feel about lore videos? Because I've always been enamored with the history of Halo as well as Gears of War. So I'm considering making some of these videos. Probably around the time of about 20 subs I'll start working on that, and if you've made it to this point, then congrats! I appreciate your tenacity to make it through this video. Alright guys, take care!